I'll show you my favorite survival slash camping hunting knife. Uh, this is made by Tops. It's the SurfTac 7. Um, it's designed in part, at least, by uh, Joseph Teddy, who was on uh, Dual Survival uh, after they cannibal. Uh, he's also since been uh, disgraced, but uh, really designed a pretty good knife. Um, some of the features that go with it, I don't really care for too much. Uh, it's kind of a little cheap uh, uh, fire steel and uh, sort of glow light I could do without. Probably one of these days I'll just cut these off. Uh, I've had this for a couple of years and just never got around to do anything. You know, as far as modifying the sheath, uh, you know, I've got a little survival kit in here, sharpener and some other stuff, so it's got room, it's got room for that. But a couple things I like about this, uh, other than the, the sheath itself, I mean, the sheath has, you know, a little paracord and, you know, places, mole, you know, or mole where you can connect to a couple different things, but, you know, that's nice, but I don't really care for that too much, you know, one way or the other. And I'm just going to wear it uh, on the belt or something. Two Velcro straps, which are okay. Like I said, the, the sheath itself is not really anything fancy. It's got a little plastic uh, insert in here where the knife goes. Um, but for, you know, 200 something dollars, um, this is not as nice as what I've got on like the Johnson Adventure Blades or, uh, but, you know, it's okay. So. For two hundred something dollars, I don't think you get a sheath that's any nicer than what you get on a sixty dollar knife. But the knife itself is really nice. It's got a lot of features I uh, like. Um, it's got the micarta handles uh, that are not stock. They're not necessarily custom, but they're the upgrade. So they have a little bit, a lot more grip to them. It's not the most comfortable handle, but. Uh, it does pretty good. It's fairly comfortable. Uh, it's got a palm swell, which which works pretty good. But what I like is just the beefiness of it. It's about a quarter inch thick, uh, exposed pommel. It's got a little pry there. This can be used for all kind of things. Uh, lanyard hole. You've got a couple of holes here where you can use this as a spear if you need to. Um, strap it in. Um, it's got straight. 7 inch blade with, it's not really a tanto point but uh, it's kind of because this edge is a little bit longer uh, than this one. It's got a nice bevel on it, it's coated with their coating. Uh, this is, I own two blades from Tops, um, but this one I really like. One thing that, that's really good is it has sort of this Tops uh, exclusive uh, saw feature here. Um, and it's not just uh, you know, like what's on your typical survival knife for bending barbed wire or something. It, this, this saw works really, really good and I've used it a lot. Uh, one of the things I like about this point is it works really, really good for starting a hole uh, in a piece of wood for friction fire. Uh, it works really good. And uh, like I said, Joseph Ted Eye, he might be disgrace to some degree, but he's apparently a pretty good knife designer. I really like it. So it's about $230. It's hard to say whether it's you're getting really any more than you get from a, a high-end K-Bar like the Johnson Adventure, but uh, I really like it. It's got a lot of features. Before I end this, I wanted to show you what I was talking about as far as starting your pilot hole for friction fire. So I've got a piece of so tall here, and just as far as the fit and how the shape of the knife is, really, really works good. You don't have to do hardly anything to get that pilot hole started. You just you just work it back and forth in there, and it really starts that nice. That's actually probably one of the things I like most about this knife.